Hello, Matrix, and welcome again. Today, we are going to be looking at the financial maths formulas that you need to know for your final exam. So what I've done is I've taken a snippet from one of the uh, past papers, the exam uh, formula sheet at the back, or the information sheet, at that, as they've called it here. And we're going to go through each one of the formulas and look at where you would use it. So the first one, number one here, is the simple interest formula. Okay, so that's simple interest. So say you were given, uh, you had a thousand rand and you invested it for um, two years at 10% interest. Your N is the number of years, so that would be two. And if it was 10% per year, you could either put 10% or you could put 0.1. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put 10% because you can put that on your calculator. So we know that 10% of 1,000 is uh, 100. So this should give us 1,200 when we put it into our calculator. So let's do that. Okay, so we've got uh, 1,000. And then one plus two times. And this is why you can, you can actually write percentage because you can say 10% and you say shift and there's the percent button there. And so this is going to ensure we get the correct answer. So um, you can put 0 0.1, but what I find is sometimes um, people make a mistake. I say it's 6.7% and then they put 0 0.67 instead of 0 0.067. So to avoid the, um, the mistake like that, um, you can just put in the percentage. So uh, that would then give us an answer A. So A is the amount in future, and that would be 1,200. Okay, now we don't usually use simple interest, so this is not that common, but they could ask you uh, a simple interest question because it is in the syllabus. And then this one where it's minus, that's technically saying the money is going to go down. So this would be like a depreciation. So here, this point here, number two, let's make uh, this one two here. This is going to be the depreciation if it's minus. Okay, so if it depreciated by um, 10% a year, we're going, it's going to come down by 200. And so when we put minus, and we'll say N is two, and the interest is 10%, when we put that into our calculator, we're gonna get 800. So I can just change this to a minus, and we should get 800. And we do. Okay, so that's simple interest. Most of you would have done it as early as grade nine. So it's, but I'm not going to assume that you don't, that you know. It. So now I assume that you do know it because you've seen it here. Okay, so if they ask for it in rands, we can just do this. Okay, so that's the first one simple interest, very basic. Now, uh, the ones in green, this is going to be compound interest. So this means that you get interest on your interest. And often this is compounded monthly. So for example, we could have the same thing where we have a thousand rand. Um, I've got to put the P here and the P here as well. But now let's say that it's 10%, but it's compounded monthly. So then what you can say is, right, the interest is 10%, but it's monthly, so we divide it by 12. So we can say 10% over 12. And then we close our brackets. Now, the N is going to be the number of times that it gets compounded. So if it's compounded monthly, N would be 12, if it's one year. But if it's two years, like we've done here, it's going to be 24. Um, and so, oops. Uh, 
Okay, so now let's try and put this into our calculator. So what we'll do is we can just actually manipulate it. And this should give us more than the 1200 because we're getting interest on our interest. So ideally, we want uh, compound interest. So instead of the N going inside, it goes outside and to the power. But of course, we said it was 24. Let's get that there. Uh, oh, sorry, that's minus. Let's do a plus. Okay, we need to just divide this by 12. Okay. 10%. There's a percentage button under the shift, under uh, the bracket sign, over 12. And then we just need to. And say backspace, backspace. Here we go. Okay, and you see we get an extra 20 Rand because we got interest on our interest. And so that gives us 1220. So the amount at the end, if you invested a thousand rand and you got interest each month, so this is a lump sum, you get one, two, two, zero, and 39 cents. Okay, and then the one with the negative, so minus, it's gonna go down. So this would be a depreciation. So if you had a thousand rand and it was going down, by that, or say you had a car that was valued at a thousand rand and it depreciates um, at a compound rate, uh, then you would get 1,000 and of course, exactly the same thing. And we're going to again see that it's going to be less than a thousand because it's coming down. So where you see the negative, you know it's depreciation. So, and the I is going to be 24 again. Okay, so this is like an investment. Okay, and this could be like something that depreciates like a car or something. Oh, sorry, um, they've written it the other way around. Okay, so this is the minus one is going to be depreciation. And this could be like an investment. Or if you take out a loan, what will this will be, if you took out a loan for a thousand, this would give you what it would be, you'd need to pay in two years if they wanted you to pay it back at the end in one lump sum. And so when we put this uh, into our calculator again, okay, depreciation, a thousand rand going down, you get 818. Okay, so we see that a thousand Rand has depreciated to 818 Rand and four cents. Okay, so those are the first, so this was the uh, first one, this was the third one that we did. And this is the fourth one that we just did now, where it goes down. Okay, now the next, the final one is the payments one. So now this is the one which is a little bit more tricky. So the other ones you would have done sooner, but uh, maybe grade nine, and so you've had a lot of time to practice. But this one here with the payments formula is something that we need to just focus on a little bit more, I think. So F means future value. So this F, when you see this F, think future value, think investment. Okay, so in orange, think of an investment. So if you take, if you take, if you invest money for your retirement, X amount each month, that X amount is the X in red. So think investment. So future value, where you see an F, think investment. And where you see the P, 
okay, this P value, think of paying off a loan. Just think of paying off a loan. P equals paying off a loan. Okay, so let's look at an example here. So this one could be that you invested, you have say a salary of um, 10,000 Rand a month and you wanna save for your retirement. So you put some money away. So say, let's say you are able to put away a thousand Rand a month. Then you would put a thousand is the, is the payment that you would make each month. And let's say they wanted to know how much is this going to be worth in 10 years time okay so and you're getting say seven percent at the bank so this you would put in as seven percent okay but you're getting it monthly so we'll say seven percent and they're compounding it monthly so it'd be seven percent over 12. then what is the end going to be so this is going to be for 10 years and so there's 10 years and each, each year has 12 months, so of course it's gonna be 120 months. So our N is 120, not 10, because we are compounding it monthly. Then we get a minus one, just because that's part of the formula, and this, is, should, this money should go up. Then we put this, and at the bottom we again have 7%, because our I is at the bottom, over 12. Okay, so let me just circle this formula in yellow because that was a... Oops. Need a thinner pen. Okay, it's a bit squashed. But that's the formula there. And so we've put the value there and this is an investment. And so let's say that we just took a thousand Rand and so we'll clear. So now we're going to just use our calculator. Okay. So let's say that we took a thousand Rand and we just, we didn't, and we put it under the mattress and we didn't get interest. So then we, and we did this for 10 years. Well, we get a thousand times the 10 years times 12 months. And so we'd have, 1.2 million, uh, sorry, 120,000 Rand after 10 years. Okay, so this is, uh, if you don't wanna use the banks, you would get 120,000 at the end. Now let's see that if you did invest the money at 7%, what we would get then. So we would say, our, we would put in, we'd open, we'd open our um, fraction button and we'd first we'd put in our thousand, our X. So this is the bit that you see in red. Then you see we've got two brackets. We're gonna open up one and a second set and we're gonna say one plus, and then our I, we're gonna put a, there a fraction button again, 7% over 12. And then once again, we're gonna close our bracket. So now this bit is the bit in blue that you can see. And of course that's to the power of 120. Okay, now we use our arrow button to go down and it's the same on your silver calculators, if you've got those. And then at the bottom, we're now gonna put the 7% over 12 because it's compounded monthly. Shift, percentage over 12. And if we get a value bigger than 1.120,000, that's good because that we put in the right formula. And we do, we get 173,000. So we can put that in there as 173,000. And you see, we've actually made an extra 53,000 Rand. Because we didn't put it under the mattress, we put it in the bank. Okay, so that is when you invest money. Now, let's look at if we have to pay off a loan. So there what we're going to have is when you pay off a loan, you put in the value for P here. 
And so say you take out a loan of, um, uh, from a house of 1.2 million. They want to know, well, how much, and you paid off over 10 years. So they want to know your payments each month. And this then is when we use this formula. So P paying off a loan, one minus one plus, and let's say the bank charges you 8% interest. So we'd say 8% over 12, and they want you to pay this loan off over, what did I say 1.2 million? Well, this is 120,000. So let's make it 1.2, let's add another zero. So it's 1.2 million. So let's look at this as a house loan, home loan of, and we take it off over, it's more likely that it's gonna be over 20 years. So let's make it 20 years. So in 20 years, there's 240 months. So it would be minus 240. And then we'd close our bracket here over our 8% over 12. And this would then give us our X. Okay, so I'm not going to solve for X because I want to do, we, this is already quite a long video. So I will show you in one of the videos coming up when we deal with uh, annuities in probably the two or three videos time. So if you want to know how to do that, then you need to subscribe, uh, find the link below, subscribe, like the video if it helped you and share with your friends, all that good stuff. And I will carry on with financial maths where we'll do a proper example on each one of these, probably not the simple interest. I think that's a bit basic. And there was enough information here, I think, for you guys to know how to do it. So that's financial maths, just an introduction. These are the six formulas that you need to know. Then there's another formula that you need to know by heart, which is the effective interest, which I'm going to go through, as you can see, in an upcoming video. So as I said, very important to subscribe so you get notifications of when these videos coming, come through. All right, so I uh, will see you again. Uh, all the best with your studies and have a great day further.